welcome back to Crystal Dream channel. To this tutorial is about make this wonderful pair of ball earrings with Miyuki and Pom Pom. You will see that uh, for the Miyuki ball I used a wooden ball covered by Miyuki seed beads. So let's start taking a look to the material we need. First of course you know that all the materials is available on our website www.crystaltrink.test So we need 14mm wooden beads, 11-0 Miyuki seeds, pompons, a couple is enough, ball ear stud, eye pins, nova beading thread 0.06mm, needles, pliers and scissors. So let's get started. As you can see, this pair of earrings is composed by, by two balls. The first ball is a very easy, simple pompon, acrylic pompon, with a ring that you can hook with the other ball that is made with a base of wooden bead, like this is 14 millimeters and is covered by Miyuki Seed Beads 11.0. As thread, I recommend you to use Nova thread. It's a very, very strong and especially used for beading. So we start inserting five seed beads. Golden color here. We pass the thread, we shift them until the middle of the the thread. As thread I think one meter is enough but you can set, you can start with one meter and a half in order to be sure that is enough. We repass inside them again and then we pass inside the first one again. Then we tense the thread and we got the first the first circle, the first step that is like a star, a little star here. It's very important to use Nova thread because it's very very strong. You will see that it's recommended for beading because you can pass them inside a lot of beads, you can tense it, it is very very difficult to broke, to get broken. Then we insert a new blue one between um, between all the spi all the spikes of the star in order to set the second circle, second round. So I insert one blue seed bead among all the golden I inserted before. Here I insert the last one, just between these two golden, and then I will pass inside the blue one as well, in order to start the third circle. I say circle, but it's probably, I have to say, that is a level third level. Okay, this is the second level done. So I ready to start the third level the third level. For the third level I will use golden between these blue seed beads. So I insert one and two seed beads and I, 
and pass it through the second blue one in my hand. I'm going counterclockwise. Here, other two. Then other two as well. Here is the, the third level. Okay, I move, I move forward quickly. Here the last couple of golden here. I pass it inside the blue one and the golden one in order to set the fourth level. And done. As you can see, this is the result. It's completely symmetric. It means that we are going to have good result. Then we have to set the fourth level. So basically we have to insert beads all around it using the blue here between these two gold beads, see it beads, one blue here and then one blue here between these two golden and we repeat the same step all the time until to complete the four level the level number four here I done I moved forward this is the last one between these, these two and then I pass inside the blue one inside the golden and here the blue in order to set the level, the level number 5 ok the level number 5 is done and I'm ready to start the level number 6 by inserting one see one blue seed be between these two I have here and then very important one blue between this blue I have here then another one blue So I repeat all the time the same step again all around the circle until to complete the level number 5. So I basically I inserted one blue seed beads between the um, among all the blues one I inserted before. Then the last one I pass inside the blue and the other blue again in order to start level number 6. Okay, as you can see, we are going to shape a sphere. I insert the eye pin inside the center and I pass it through the wooden bead. And you can see that our work is going to shape out our sphere like the wooden beads I have. Uh, I have to use and for the level number six I insert a golden one here between these blues and then one and two golden between these two here so basically I will make the level number six inserted one see one blue and then two blues okay one blue and I pass it through the next spike and then two blues two golden sorry two goldens
Now it's time to insert one. Then other two. If you were if you start working with Nova thread you will see that is unbreakable. It's almost impossible to cut with the scissors. I usually I I use a special scissors made by titanium, but you can also use a electric cutter or you can also use a like a very very strong uh, cutting plier. It's very very strong. Probably is no, surely is better than fireline beading thread. Okay, here are another a couple of golden seed beads. Then I pass inside the blue one and the golden one in order to set the level number seven. And done. This is the level, the level number six. see I have set the top of the sphere okay the number number seven we have to fill all the gaps between these golden colors seed beads here on the exterior in, in the exterior the um, uh, circle So between these two golden, I will insert one and I repeat all the time the same step all in order to fill all the circle. But if I pass inside the first golden color, inserting one, then the second golden color, inserting another blue, then another blue between the other, the next golden color here, another blue here, before this golden one, I will repeat the same step all the time until to complete the circle. Very important to use seed, very very high quality seed beads because there are a lot of them in the market. I usually you I usually may works with Miyuki, but you can also choose like brands like Preciosa that is very very high quality. But we have to be careful because uh, from Chinese market you. You can buy very very low quality seed beads that are not um, are not homogeneous. Among them, they are different. It's very important that all the seed beads have to be like uh, twins. They they can't be different among them, so you won't get the same result. As you can see, Miyuki beads, Miyuki seed beads. All the beads have the same size, the same diameter, the same hole, and of course the same color. Okay, here I completed the circle, I pass inside the last one that is blue in order to set level number 8. Okay, I just completed the top of the body of the sphere that will cover the wooden bead and then I made the other, mm, well, let me say the central body of the, of the sphere. We only using blue seed beads. 
the last one inside the first and the second so the first blue here and the second one here and then I repeat the same step all the time inserting only blue seed beads in my case because I choose to use golden and blue colors and here I made one two three four levels more using only blue colors you can set the pattern you you like better here I made one two three four five six six level more then the level number seven this is made for 14 millimeters wooden beads if you change the diameter you have to recalculate the number of C beads you have to use okay this is the level number seven using only blue seed beads okay then one the level number seven I feel all the gap between all the blues with golden and I pass inside the blue one and the golden one then I set this next level Basically the central part made only with blues is a regular circular peyote. Then a blue between all the goldens. but one blue over every the first two I insert one then I pass another blue one and I pass the knee the, the thread inside the the couple of golden seed beads I have on the previous level then insert a blue one I pass inside one golden then I insert I I insert a new seed bead blue and I pass it I know and I pass the thread inside the first and the second golden color you have to alternate this technique in order in order to reduce the diameter of the circle because we are going to close the work okay here only one Then another one here. pass it through the golden one then another seed bead here I pass it through the couple of golden color I had before and a new gold blue one I pass it through the next then a new blue one and I pass it through the, the couple of golden color here a new blue one and then I pass inside the couple of the golden and the blue the next blue I have in order to close the level okay then tense the thread and as you can see we are reducing the circle here in order to enclose the wooden beads
okay the next level is made by blues so I put a blue between this blue here and then another blue between the other blue the, the next blue basically we insert a new blue seed beads between all the blue I have from the previous level here a new blue one and another blue and then level is almost done next level is made by inserting golden between all the blue seed beads I have from the previous step inside the blue one and the golden one here and now it's time to set the next level we are basically reducing the line of this technique at the beginning we were growing up lines and then we are reducing with the same technique inside the two golden I insert one blue then a new one blue then I pass the needle inside the couple of golden beads then a new one blue and I pass the needle inside the first and the second golden I have Then a new one, blue, and I pass the needle inside the first and the second golden CB I have. we pass to the next level passing inside the blue the first blue I inserted in, the, in this level and now only one level is missing that is made with one two three four five C golden seed beads and then the work is done we covered our wooden bead and insert a new golden here then I pass inside the next blue then a new golden 
I pass inside the next blue. And a new seed here through the next blue. Then a new golden one inside the next blue that is this one. And done. The next, the, this is the last one inside the, the blue one and the next golden of the last level I just done. And done. I finished my work. So we have to repass the needle inside the latest beads I, I have until to get the, the other uh, side of the thread. We will pass inside all the seed beads in order to get both tips together and you will make a couple of knots in order to close the work. Okay, I made I repassed inside the la the latest level. So I have now I have to drive my my tips in order to get them together more or less in the center. If you try nova thread you will discover that you can wrap it, stretch it, or try to cut it with a normal scissor and it's almost impossible to cut. Okay, here I joined both tips together, then I make a couple of knots. And I got my Miyuki ball. I'm ready to set the full body of the earring. Here my special scissors, very very strong. The blade is very very powerful and done. Okay, how to set the rest of the body of the earring is very very easy. We will pass the eye pin inside the hole and we'll join the pom pom at the bottom and the ear stud at the top. I choose these colors because I, I like to make using this pattern but you can set your own one using your your own pattern and your colors. Okay, I insert the eye pin from the top to the bottom and then I cut the bottom part leaving only one centimeter in order to make another ring. So I cut it here. And then I take round pliers. To make the ring. The ring have to be the same side of the the top, the ring I have on the top. Okay, now I'm ready to hook the pom pom by opening the, the ring I just done. The pom pom is ready because it is made with a, um, a ring, a golden ring on the top. It's very very easy to hook. Then I close the ring.
and the top is made by opening the ring of the eye pin I insert the ball ear stud and I close the, the ring ok done and this is the earring completely I think we got a very very good result and you saw that is not very difficult I think that if you already worked with seed beads in the past you are able to make the same pair of earrings as well if I did it you can do it as well huh? of course so we remind you that all the materials is available on our website www.crystaldream.s we ship worldwide and we are full set with all the parts available as well thank you happy beading bye bye